what we want to do, we want to get line segment AB and we want to reflect it over the line M. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to get our metal leg and we're going to put it on point B. Once we have our metal leg, I'm going to open my compass in such a way that is going to intersect the line at two different locations. So I know that this is sufficient, so let me create an arc. Without changing the length of this arc, now I'm going to move my metal leg at the first intersection. Once my metal leg is on the first intersection, then I'm going to be creating a mark on the inside. Now let's move the metal leg to the second intersection. And using the same distance, I'm going to be looking for the intersection on the inside. At the intersection that we have just found, this is where the image of B is going to be located at. So let's call it B prime. Now let's repeat the process, but now on point A. Let's move the metal leg at point A. Now let's open our compass in such a way that I'm intersecting the line segment at two different locations. So this is sufficient. Let's create an arc. Without changing the length of the compass, now let me move my metal leg at the first intersection. Let me create a mark on the inside. Without changing the length of my compass, now let me move my metal leg to the second intersection. Once we have it there, let's look for the intersection on the inside. At the intersection that we have just found, here is where we're going to find the image of A. So let's call it A prime. And we are done. Because if we connect A prime to B prime, this will be the image of the reflection when AB is reflected over the line M. Here we have the pre-image. And after the reflection, here we have our image. Now let's look at another example. So notice that here, what we want to do, we want to get this triangle ABC, and now we want to reflect it over line M. So now let's get our compass, and let's repeat the previous steps three times, one for each vertex. Let's start with point B. Let's get our compass, and place the metal leg on point B. Now let's get the compass in such a way that I'm intersecting the line at two different locations. Without changing the length of my compass, let's place our compass in the first intersection and let's look at a mark on the inside. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's put the metal leg on the second intersection. And let's look for the intersection from the previous mark. Let's clean this up a little bit. And now the intersections that we have just found here, it is here where we're going to get the image of B. So let's call it B prime. Let's repeat the process, but now for point C. Let's move the metal leg to C. Let's open our compass in such a way that I'm intersecting the line at two different locations. Now let's move the metal leg of the first intersection. Let's make a mark on the inside. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's move my compass to the second intersection. And now let's look for the intersection. Let's clean this up a little bit. Now at this intersection that we have just found, it is here we're going to find the image of C. So let's call it C prime. So now let's repeat the process, but now for point A. Now that we have found the image for every single point, let's connect those points. So this triangle that we have just created on the right hand side can be seen as the image of the triangle that we were given, A, B, and C. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.